Okay, guys, welcome back to some bar live casting. Today we have a mixed skill level lobby. We have some high rated players. Red here is sticking out like a sore thumb here. He's much higher than the next highest rated, which is 30. Uh, to me, this team is looking a little imbalanced to me because you have, you've got 37 and 30, which are the two highest rated, and the next two highest rated are 29 and 28. Uh, so it looks a little unbalanced to me, but, you know, whatever. This is what the players want to play, so let them be, I, I guess. Um, we're on Sulphur Springs over here. Sulphur Springs is a map that I do not particularly like. I don't play it that often. Uh, it's not played by a lot of people that often. Uh, you've got water on, like, this top and right side, and you've got a whole lot of geos. Okay, we gotta get rid of that. We got a whole lot of geos on this map. There's like seven here for people and one here, so everyone can get a geo on your team. In my opinion, this left side here is very important because if you break through here, you're instantly at the opponent's base, like right over here. Um, I think there should be a player right here that's supposed to spawn in. I believe a player is supposed to spawn in here. Uh, I think the bottom team is just... Yeah, it looks like this player should not have been here. I think there should have been a player here. So this this front looks kind of weak for the bottom side, but they have the higher skill players. So we'll see. I still think that this front is very important to win this game. Um, the moment this front starts breaking, like you're instantly at the opponent's bases. And that's why it's very swinging over here. Up here, there's a lot of mexes, yeah, but like it takes so long for units to get to the base that, you know, that, that, that's, that, um, swinginess is kind of mitigated. So this bottom area, in my opinion, is more important. Uh, there's a certainly a large potential for uh, ecoing because of all the geos. People can get the fusions much faster, or the equivalent of. And we'll have to see how this game plays out because there are high level players and there are some, you know, more average level. So it's a mixed lobby, like I said at the start. And we'll look at some of the highlights and see what what we see here. Let's see. Some bots coming out here. Most people love their bots. I see vehicle plant here. Just one on the bottom team. What about here? Ooh, we got an air factory. That's interesting. One vehicles, two vehicles, two vehicles and an air factory. So the left side is being very interesting. Here. And he's front. He's on the front, so that's kind of very, very interesting that he has air first. We'll have to keep an eye and see if there's any damage that comes of that. Um, I don't see any air for the bottom team. I don't see a factory here. He must have just eaten it. He went bots and then ate it. Ate his factory. Red and purple, obviously going navy. Do we see the air moving out just yet? It looks like he's still getting his constructors out. Okay. He'll probably come out later. Ah, uh, wild sparrow and birdie. Oh my god, the birds. It's a bird battle here. <laughs> Who's gonna win? <laughs> we'll have to see. So far, it's very... It looks so even to me still, like, very even. The uh, aggravators are very important to winning these uh, turret creep, commander creep battles. Or if you're losing, you can just uh, run your commander in and try to dig on the enemy commander. And then win from the ashes of that comm explosion. But yeah, this uh, aggravator is completely uncontested. I want to see aggravators on this side. I don't think um, maces outrange the aggravators. Yeah, they have like a third more range here. At least uh, like about a hundred more range. Which is a pretty significant amount. He's probably going to repair that. Or he's going to give it up. No, he's going to repair it. Yep. Alright. Let's check in over here. Yeah, I think this distance is helping the left side here. They're going to get access to probably this middle mechs. He needs to take this mechs though. I say the positioning favors the left side, but, you know, it's not looking too aggressive here just yet. Ooh, the rocket bots are forming up. He needs to send those in with the fight command. Like, do this and they will start attacking these turrets at max range. 
Although he looks like he just wants to micro them with their own positioning. <clears throat> Let's check up up here. See, look, look. <laughs> this map is just so big. Like, this center area is so hard to get over here that it just takes forever. You can't even take the mechs just there. What was that? Oh, that was a calm explosion. Dude, he exploded in the water, and <laughs> the water went everywhere, and I didn't know what that was. I've never seen that before. You learn new things every day. Calm explosions in water. They spray water everywhere. So this guy, Orange, clearly teching up. He's going for his tech tube bots. I guess eating the factory is a clear sign that he was intending to tech up here. Oh, double water. Yeah, it's double water here. Two water players. And the best player is here. And the lobby is here. So that means we should expect the bottom side to win the, the water battle here. We got a constructor. Can construction ships go on land? I don't think they can. I don't think I can tell if it does, but it looks like he can only... Yeah, he can only stay in the water here. It's so funny that he can, he can barely get these nexes here. Ah, the sub is just taking out these ships. Submarine. Yeah, these gunboats can't hit these subs. Uh, it doesn't look like there's... So we do have destroyers here. I believe they have... Yeah, they do. They, they can hit the, the submarine. So this can be pushed back. We got stalemate here. It, it's just so big that they don't want to fight just yet. All right. This front line, though, is looking... Also kind of static. Dude, is it the same aggravator? I'm pretty sure he had to replace this. And he's just repairing the same thing over and over. He's got to even repeat on. It's just like, this has been going on for a while. Ooh, the vehicles are finally getting their artillery to the front. And that could mean that this pink player might be able to push them off. Interestingly, none of these three mechs here have been taken. Uh, pink sees that mech, so she should be able to take that up. If we check his income, it's at 16 versus 14, so slight income advantage. If, if, if uh, one of these players took this max here, this uh, 3.2, it would be in his favor. It can be hard to pay attention and uh, micro everything all at once, though. He's probably more interested in microing these um, rocket bots. You gotta pay attention when you are fighting uh, artillery again, uh, with your rocket bots because artillery does really well against rocket bots in uh, decent numbers. Like once you get five, which is like the number he has here, it gets really hard to micro these rocket bots against artillery. Still, oh my god, <laughs> he's better. The star means he's uh, ranked up. He's he's a veteran unit. And it slightly improves the stats, but you know it's hard to notice what what it even does. He finally gives up that, uh, that, uh, sentry, but, like, it's still, in my opinion, very static across this map. Like, all these front lines are not pushing too much. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Overwatch. Heavy laser turret is up here. That, these guys outrange all the rocket bots, and so now all this rocket bot micro would not matter because he outranges them. Um... Still no mexes. Like there are uncapped mexes, in my opinion. You need to you need to focus on these mexes, especially this one right here could, could be taken. This one and this one should be able to be taken. The other ones are like too too close to the midline. It's kind of hard to cap them. Same up here. I believe you should build a constructor. It looks like he's energy stalling like mad. What is he producing? I believe he's producing geothermal here. He has already a couple geothermals. One geothermal, but. He was power stalling a lot. What's he up to? Oh, he, that's a lot of solar. <laughs> he's, he doesn't even have the mass for one just yet. He, he's, he's just queuing it up like crazy. But he's already, he's, okay. I gotta stop like complaining. Dude, <laughs> okay, he cleaned that up. He's finally getting the mechs. Still static up here. Oh my God, this is one of the most static games I've ever seen actually. <laughs> all the, the land fronts are not fighting at all. It is, perhaps it is a little late, and these players are just uh, opting to be a little more passive. Uh, going tech two, yeah. When this game is uh, when the game is very passive, like it is a decent idea to go tech two. 
I wonder, nah. I should believe when you're in a situation like this, you should produce units for a little bit and then tech up. Although, if you want to be aggressive, then you just produce units. So maybe things will start to heat up as these guys decide they have enough units and want to go in. It's going to be a lot of reclaim on this field. Uh, not that much, but it's going up. So it's probably going to be a thousand or more up here once this battle's over. Ooh, the warden doesn't look like there's artillery here to deal with this. So you'll be able to ooh, run by, actually. Blue looks like he wants to do run by. He's going to pick up these three mixes, most likely. That, ra that warden's out of range now. Those mixes are going down. There are a few of these bugs coming up, but they are very slow. And so these guys are going to get some decent damage, I see. We got three mexes. He's going to get a fourth one, probably. And if he micros over here, he'll get three more. That could cause a chain, rea chain reaction of loss for the bottom side up in this position. If they just keep flooding this location, it gets very hard to defend. This commander is moving back. He looks like he's at half HP, but there's more than a commander is worth a reclaim on this area. I don't think he should give up this position so easily. Yeah, those three mexes are going down. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mexes going down. Eight over here. Oh no, another T2 is going down here. That is a lot of mass denied in this area up here. Let's check in on water. Water is in the middle of their combat here. We got a lot of destroyers here. Destroyers are, in my opinion, very good T1 water here. They are very expensive, but they do pretty well in the water. Looks like Red is winning this. These streaming reinforcements are going to struggle to fight this clump of units. I think Red is going to opt to be defensive here. He probably wants this reclaim, 2,000 reclaim here. Still passive along those three fronts here. Take a bird's eye view here. So yeah, like it's very passive along the bottom three sides. I usually players are down here are very aggressive and it determines the game instantly this is to me this is like a very strange anomaly but maybe maybe this is just more data for me to like understand and see how this map plays out i i, th I personally think that this is just uh, too passive here like this max is just now getting capped uh, that is a 3.2 that could have been capped ages ago like five minutes ago almost i think that max could be Capped here. The birds are just staring at each other. Ah, he's going for the T1 plasma artillery. That that ranges most of this army here. Pushes him off. He could probably secure this mech here, this uh, 1.8 here. Bird who finally got that mid mech. Like no one's taking it. Just just snag it. <laughs> uh, T1 plasma is all across the top side here though. For these two positions. That just means they want to go passive, probably. I should see, yeah, T2 coming out here. I would expect this guy to go T2 soon. You got another T2 back here. Yeah, all this passivity is encouraging. <laughs> Teching up, so we might see a very long game here, actually. Yeah, multiple players are just already at T2. Ooh, the bombers are finally coming out. The air player is ready. I don't think there is some reactors here. Orange has been teching up continuously. He's also going air. I just saw the air factory down there. All right. <laughs> Are these bombers going to get a huge bombing raid? I'm not so sure because that looks... Uh, not a single unit went down. A lot of damage, though. But I don't see any way for this bottom team to actually survive this. They don't have anti-air and... This army is relatively equal or greater in their value. So I think this bottom side is about to take a lot of beating here. Yeah, the bomber is actually helping out a lot here. I mean, like, usually they get, like, swat down immediately. But, like, there's no AA, so they got a lot of value out in the multiple bombing runs. Probably here it has been... Eco wing, but he's also been, resp been responsible for his side, so it's kind of difficult for him to send units. Orange needs to send units in. He had an air factory. He could have been making fighters. He's trying to, but this this place is going down. And like I said, like this bottom area is very important. Like once you lose a base, it, you just like chain react lose. 
Because now there's a giant hole here, and they can just keep flooding this location. That means uh, this uh, tan player has to cover this hole, and that makes this area now a hole. This area is now susceptible to attacks. Yeah, like, it's sweeping in. Losing T2 Max is not good. Losing T2 Factory is not good. Using all the eco, not good. Yeah, and that that's going to cause this side to now be alone. His units are out of position for the defense. So now this side collapses. Like, like I said, like, chain reactions happen just because this side is so important. The water, I mean, like, you have your best player here, but it just takes so long to win just because of the distance. Like, it takes forever for these units to get over here. He's elected to build a forward factories because it is just so far ahead. And I I don't think this is actually a bad idea because when you're water like this, um, it's not like the land player is going to attack Switch and get you. Like, you're fighting against one opponent mostly. I think this is fine to have a forward base because, Jesus Christ, that is a long way. The thing's not looking too good for the bottom side. Hopefully, Orange is able to bounce them back. I see the two reactors here. Uh, if we look at the economy at the top right, for the energy standpoint, the top left is winning here. The left side is winning. 2,000 energy ahead. Uh, the mass looks a little iffy here. I think the bottom side has a little bit better mass income here. It's a little hard to tell with all the reclaim happening. But the power tells me that the left side is perhaps slightly ahead in eco, maybe slightly. I don't see that any fusions up here, but it's probably all in the geos, yeah. Geo, geo, he's going for a geo there. Yeah, geo, 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 yeah, a lot of geos on the left side. Right side, their geos are not as upgraded. I see one here. One, two, slightly ahead, I don't know. Relatively equal, relatively equal still, but I was hoping OJ would be having a, a massive lead so he can swing this game back in the bottom's favor so it's a more even game. But don't know if we'll see that. It's still very, very iffy to tell how this game will go. I think this bottom side is very weak for the, uh, the bottom, definitely. But that's a lot of troops here middle. 9,000 troop build up here. I don't think the top side has enough. 4,000 and maybe... 500 over here, so like, I don't know if they'll have enough. I think these units could sweep over this land area right now. This comm is very important because if these guys start sweeping, actually both of these comms are decently positioned to react and to stop this push with their uh, explosions. Where does all these uh, noises coming from? Starlights, yeah, there we go. He's target firing the ground, so he's wasting a thousand energy per shot, which is about 15 mass or so per shot. Yeah, losing 15 mass per shot doesn't feel so great. That's after like the conversion. Oh, he got the, uh... oh, he's finally fight commanding. So he got the turret now. <laughs> no longer wasting his shots. Okay, he's getting damaged now. It's just, it's just a lone uh, starlight here. Blue has got these starlights coming out right now, though. That's uh, seven on the field, and it's going up. Each one of these is 12,000, so they're really expensive. Like, these seven starlights could get you this uh, fusion right now. Oh my god. The bottom side just, like, pushed twice, destroyed a base, and then they're like, eh, I don't want to push anymore. <laughs> I mean, fair enough, I guess. Like, you got damage, you might as well <laughs> capitalize. I think he's just going T2. This guy was not on T2 when he did that push, so maybe for him it's fine. But, like, up here, I feel like you guys could keep pushing. There's, like, still not that many units over here. Like, like I said, these, this bottom is, like, chain collapsing. I think you can just push your advantage and wipe up these two bases. Just completely wipe them off. Passive game from my perspective. Ooh, calm explosion. Fat boy? I think the fat boy might have gotten that kill. Or the dogs, I don't know. I couldn't see. <laughs> There's too many things to see. Fat boy missed his shot, but the starlights are getting to the front line now. 
Starlights are good. Oh, this Starlight's been 19 kills. Jesus Christ. This guy's been mopping the floor here. Uh, he's missing the ground because I believe his radar is telling him it's there, but it's actually not there. I wonder what causes this. I know it's the radar, but like, why is the radar not like giving you the exact position? I don't know. You might get that. <laughs> the random walk of the uh, radar ping might get him this. Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> That's so funny, dude. This this lone starlight is just pushing this 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 unoccupied base down so slowly. Uh, but the main starlight forces are over here, and this does not look like they're able to push that off. Ooh, orange bombing line over here. What are they focusing? The base, yeah, they got they're getting the base here. I think it would be wise to keep. Uh, I don't know where I was going. I was hoping like he would hit. I want to see bombers hit reactors. That's what I always want to see. But destroying bases like this is also pretty good. That's a lot of a lot of damage. A lot of windmills going down here. Honestly, not that much damage when it's windmills. But these players don't seem to have that much eco. This player does. Like these. Uh, look at these geos. These geos are so important, man. Something chain react there, all the converters it seems. Let's zoom out and see what's going on. This player has been getting hit by bomb uh, bombers, it seems. The air force is here, so I believe there's two players of air here. So yeah, most of those bombers got squatted down, so I don't think there's too much damage here. Still, oh my god, 16k, 17k mass buildup in units here. Uh, but the light, the top side, the left side, is now getting their own units, so all this time is just allowing the teams to tech up and get huge armies on the field. These starlights are still going uncontested. Uh, is our hero starlight here? Yeah, 24 hero. <laughs> He's a hero. <laughs> That's a hero unit right there. 24 kills on a starlight. Looks like he's just gonna keep going higher and higher. They're just not electing to run it down. Like, if you take these guys and you just go like this, these starlights are dead. Uh, unless these uh, tanks come up and cover them. Fight command. Very good on these long-range units. Oh my god, these Starlights are just getting great trades. Fat boys in the front to tank and burst down things. I don't know if that column's long for this world. Com is not long for this world. Oh, actually, the EMPs on these left ones. Oh my god, he got all those fat boys. That's a lot of damage. Birdie, <laughs> kind of lucky in my opinion with the guns, but I think he might get killed by the Starlights. Oh, yes, he did. That's not good for the bottom, obviously. Air coverage by right side here. And they got all these EMPs going off, so I think these Starlights are going down. They don't have AA capabilities. I don't see Air Force by the left side. No uh, fighter screens. A few coming in by blue now, finally. But You know, there's a lot of air coverage by the bottom side. They definitely have air superiority. Oh, there are fighters up here, but they're not engaging at all. These... Yeah, these Starlights are not long for this world now. Our hero, our hero though, is still alive. 26 kills. <laughs> these, uh... Ex all these explosions are kind of loud to me, so they might be allowed to use. So let me turn... that down. Just a little bit here. I think there's some friendly fire going on here with the bull here getting EMP. All right, there's a lot of pings. What's going on here? How did this commander get over here? I have no idea. <laughs> I think he might have had an air transport somewhere, but how is that calm here? Can he even degun from the water? I think he just uh, self-destructed there, though. I don't know if that was the best use of a calm. He didn't get the... Uh... Oh, it's only T1. I thought it was a T2 factory. I don't know if that was the best use of a calm explosion. It was. It's alright, I think. That was a lot of pings, though. I'm <laughs> sorry for you to hear that. Not Things are heating up now. A lot of battling going on here. A player lamenting his inactivity. Where is he? Yeah, over here. 
he's stacking up now. So perhaps he was, he helped, um, I think he helped get this, this water established. So he did some, I would think. Uh, he just needs to tech up now and get some economy and then he can join the land battle. Looks like players are lamenting their state in the games based on the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, hovers? Yeah, I think red came in through here. I can't see everything, guys. There's, there's too many things happen. Oh my god, the fat boy. No, the czar. Ooh, the czar <laughs> did almost as much damage to his team, I think. That was a lot of damage to his team. I mean, it's still so static. Like, not a lot of major pushing. These mexes here can definitely be taken back. Some of these can be taken back. Like, that one can be taken back fun T2 mechs here and just completely ignored by most of this game. Good for the bottom side. Looks like Purple is losing this Navy battle. He lost his production over here, so it was a decent comm explosion. These resurrection subs will slow Red down a little bit, but Red is on the doorstep of the back here, the left side. He's, it, se it seems pretty clear that he's won water. I think he's building more engineers to try to cap everything along the way. That that guy is cute, but he can't build it. It's too far out of range. <laughs> okay, we got more EMPs going down here. There's a lot of fighter screen coverage, but there are these anti-air bots. Um, I did lose a game because I went anti-air bots and not flak anti-air. Um, in my experience, flak anti-air is like infinitely better. Dude, these fat boys are getting emp <laughs> That was a lot of EMPs. A lot of units getting EMP'd here. But no, the AK are finally cleaned up all the air here. They were just uh, hanging around for too long. There's nothing to clean up the units here. Oh my god, Teal is finally online. 78 income. He's just pumping out units right now. He wants to be aggressive. Blue is at 123, orange is at 100 and, no, 85, 80, 80-ish, 80 hard to tell, 80-ish, I think, nah, blue is definitely at 90 or so, he's getting reclaimed somewhere, it, the numbers fluctuate all the time, oh, red is at the doorstep, he might get these, he's probably gonna get these two T2 mexes here, that is a decent amount of income that will be denied, and he might be able to sail upstream here. I don't know if that's the case. I can't really tell. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Dude, that thing is <laughs> getting repaired. I don't think they can reach that. They can barely reach it. I think he has to micro that, though. That thing is just gonna <laughs> stall the time of the red, and his ships are getting cleaned up here, so perhaps not the greatest for right side, bottom side. Oh, more ships are coming in, though. A lot more ships. Yeah, oh my god, there's so many things happening now as the game starts to heat up. Oh, look at what I said. Things start to chain react here, and now you're losing a lot of stuff here. And there's going to be a lot of reclaim on this field here. Uh, if I can find an engineer, I can check how much. Oh my god, guys, that is 22k resources that could be reclaimed. Perhaps it's too late in the night, these guys aren't sending reclaim bots. Res bots. That is a AFUS that does not seem to be long for this world when they're... Ooh, sorry, I clicked on the wrong spot. When there's 20,000 units coming up, I wonder if their Hilo, Hero Starlight survived. I don't know if he did. I don't think he did. The Hero Starlight got cleaned up somewhere sometime. Uh, the Marauders are coming in. This water, I don't believe, is getting that much damage. Someone tapped out here. Uh, these mechs changed hands over here. Or they were given by someone. Yeah, this base is not looking too hot over here. These snipers really need to put in work, but these fat boys are really tanky, and there's a lot of other T1, T2s here. Ooh, a starlight comes out, but he's getting swarmed down. Fat boys are going to take him out. That fusion is in danger. Only three? Three dogs can see it, though. Three dogs are in range. These guys will soon be able to hit it. They might queue to it. 
With their micro, they'll hit it. Oh, the EMPs are good. EMPs are good. Ooh. That fusion was saved by Orange here. The unit production is finally coming out here, so... Ah, but the Marauders are now in the base. This ain't looking good. I don't think you need me to tell you that. The Marauders are in the base getting damaged. Air Forces has to be very active here to try to stop this. Marauders do carry uh, light anti-air. You can see the, the little pellet coming out. That EMP missed. He's, he's hit the own, his own, back, uh, own Geo here, which lost his team a little bit of resources. I think most of these guys got cleaned up here. Lost in a T2 Geo and some of the base here, so... Ooh, Air Force comes in. No anti-air. You need flak, guys. Flak is very important. What is that? Anti-air, he says. Yeah, flak is very important. Uh, ooh, plat platypuses with... <laughs> they have, platypuses have everything. They have, like, attacks for everything. They hit everything in the game, apparently, I think. They have torpedoes, I think? Or they can hit water, obviously, because they're amphibious. Um... They can hit land because they're amphibious, and they can hit air. <laughs> it's kind of crazy, and they're only 260. <laughs> they seem to be decent units, from my point of view, but I don't know. Things are looking kind of bad for bottom. They are losing the land heavily. Uh, there's no anti-air here. Not enough. That is a lot of air force. Red has one water, but he needs to pivot. I think he's going to pivot to air, it seems, because... He's one water. I don't think he can move upstream here. Looks like it's too um, too shallow for his boats. He needs to pivot into air or land. You got more air coming in here. What is this? Gunships? Yeah, gunships to defend. There is anti-air here. Like a lot of T1 anti-air spam. Those guys are expensive, right? How many is that? 2,000? They're, they're not too bad, actually. But... You know, they're only T1, so T2 flak is very good. That is a lot of welders. That is a classic Armada T2 factory uh, bot army of welders and snipers. These welders are really damaged, though. Welders are supposed to be tanky, but when they're this damaged, uh, that effect is kind of lost. These snipers need to move up. They need to push these guys off. A lot of pawns in the front to tank damage. Orange is really lacking. Oh, that was a bad explosion for the right side. Took out a lot of the snipers. Snipers are so expensive and hard to replace. He is lacking power uh, for his sniper shots. Perhaps a little bit lacking. Ooh, that was a lot of stuff coming out by. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I've never seen this many factories. Eight T1 bot factories just sending out spam. Spam, spam, spam. That is a lot of spam, and he just colored the same color as spam. <laughs> Ain't that funny. His Thors up here, I can see by the minimap, have prevented any more run-bys from up here. So some of these mexes are like some light blood for the bottom side. That is a decent amount of mass income. Got it. It's a decent amount of mass income from up here that is helping the bottom side. Ooh, that is just so much concentration of forces here. I think the left side is going to get repelled here. And hopefully they're able to retake this ground here. There's a lot of mixes that need to be recapped. When you push it in like this, uh, you need your reclaim bots to do this. Yeah, they got that 20k reclaim that was here earlier, it seems. Uh, but you also need to cap these mixes. Even if it's a T1 engineer doing it, that is a lot of value over here to recap them. All right, the T1 hovers. Okay, Red is doing his pivoting. He's going air and T1 hovers. Uh, you need... You need to mix in anti-air when you go hovers. His hovers are running to the safety of his anti-air ship here. Yeah, gun a lot of players have been recently using gunships a lot. And they're kind of disgusting. <laughs> gunships are. Oppressively good when there's no anti-air. That is a lot of spam that is headed towards the left side. Do we see engineers behind it? I see reclaim bots. These recluses, these... Um, Armada bots that can reclaim and EMP things. Actually, these are not. That's Webbers I'm thinking about. Sorry, these are recluses. These are just um, all-terrain rocket bots, basically. The spot, uh, the spam is coming in though. Wait, there's also a uh, 
battle over here. Oh my god, hover versus hover and air involved. A lot of stuff. The spam is coming in over here. Bombers. Oh, they're gonna take out so many, so many pawns. Oh my god, things are lagging out like crazy for me. That is just a lot of spam for me. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm only at 20 FPS. <laughs> Please bear with me. The players are spamming. My computer is good, but not that good. Oh my god, they're in the base. They're gonna get the calm, I think. That's gonna explode. Oh my god, that's a lot of explosions. But no reactors, I think. Still more units coming in. Streaming units still. Ah, oh, things are finally going back up, back to 30 FPS and greater. <laughs> Dude, that was just so much spam. <laughs> the game was having trouble uh, rendering all that. Juno is going down. Those things are so annoying to the build and upkeep. Ah, oh, the fusion's in danger though. Thor is upon it. Oh, two fusions in danger. And these uh, T2 Geos. A lot of damage going on here. This is the comeback the bottom side needed. The pink player had ecoed and he's finally online. Yeah, those stores are going for those uh, reactors, I think. They should react. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Look at those explosion guys. That is like, a lot of damage. Teal's economy has been shattered. Meanwhile, Blue has to keep up the slack, and he, it looks like he's doing a good job of that. That's a lot of fusions over there. Oh no, another another fusion went down over there. Geo went down. I mean, oh my god. This is a one heck of a bounce back. Like, seriously, one heck of a bounce back. They, the bottom team was like, pushed back to here. Barely holding on over here. Red was winning, but, you know, was limited. Uh, by his access from the sea. Um, this left side made a push here and failed. And then pink came online and just turned the tide with this massive wave of, wave of pawn spam. This the amount of pawn spam is still lagging my game out. And probably all the air. Yeah, there's a lot of air stuff. Air tends to do that, to me at least. Gunship? Ah, uh, no. Nah. Oh, that's a Geo down. Yeah, that's damage. Oh, chain reaction. That's a lot of the economy down. A lot of the T2 converters went down for blue. That is that is almost as good as getting the fusions because that means they have to spend so much time rebuilding those converters and that is effectively the same as shutting down the economy. There is not a lot of hope for the left side now. Like their star player here had his economy cut in half here. Oh, and the hovers are on the base. There's no defense. That is game. That is game. Great plays by the bottom team. They're able to bounce back from a what looked like a losing position here. He just needs to focus that. Yeah, the resigns are coming out. He can't defend this in time. That's got to chain react. Yep. The resignation comes in and everything blows up. Sorry for the lag this game. This was a crazy late game. It was a really passive early game. That and it was also a big map, so altogether that created a lot of lag because the spam came out. Yeah. Alright, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this mixed level uh 8v8 live cast. Alright, thanks for watching. Goodbye.